E-Ray Tarana here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. Here to bring you your daily astrological update for Saturday, October 26, 2024. Don't forget to download, read, and review the Freestyle Cipher, Volume 2, The Suspense of It All. The month of October is the perfect month to read and review the suspense thriller. Within the anthology, you get six intriguing stories by six creative writers let us know what you think okay i won't hold you up anymore let's get into the astrology please excuse the background noise because um it's hectic i'm busy so i'm back to doing the astrology on my break um the sun is in scorpio at three degrees these energies are peaceful calm generous and even caring artistic gifts such as music poetry dance painting film etc can usher in success and recognition shared finances your passion projects sex endings and new beginnings can be a focus placements affected are in every sign within zero to six degrees cancer and pisces placements receive the blessings this can benefit home and family blessings can come in secretly as well Virgo and Capricorn placements within those degrees grant or receive the opportunities and assistance. It can involve work, one's health, your daily routines, or where you are of service to another. Leo and Aquarius placements see the tension. So effort is needed in those areas of your chart, provided your placements are between zero and six degrees of Leo and Aquarius. This can involve friends, social groups, children, romantic partners, fun, creativity, um, and even uh, creative endeavors. Taurus placements directly oppose the sun, so they're directly effect affected by the energies I discussed. It involves your wealth, worth, or resources. Now, Gemini and Aries placements make a faded aspect to the sun in Scorpio. Therefore, those placements in those areas um, are facing a unique challenge that affects um, your image uh, as it pertains to your networks of people, neighbors, or even siblings. Sagittarius and Libra placements have to go for or initiate the assistance or opportunities. This pertains to partnerships, relationships, education, skills, long distance travel, as well as what you think and preach. Okay, that's going to go on until about 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, a more focused transit is um, in the morning around 5.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The moon in Leo at 27 degrees will be making a faded yet karmic aspect to Neptune retrograde in Pisces for like an hour and 45 minutes. Where you have placements between 24 and 29 degrees of Pisces and Leo, you're affected by these energies. A unique challenge, circumstance can be at play. This can pertain to a past or long-held desire or wish. These energies can be honorable, moral, cheerful, pleasant, brave, careful, and resilient. Life can be peaceful and happy. Nice friends, money, and even fulfilled ambitions can be had. Multiple partnerships can also be had. <laughs> um, multiple, it, it can be partnerships in any way, whether it's lovers, uh, career connections, whatever the case may be. Um, some are collecting money through an insurance policy. Okay, um, these energies um, herald one being more enlightened uh, by things. By 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Leo at 29 degrees will make a faded aspect to um, Pluto and Capricorn for like an hour and 45 minutes. Where you have placements in your chart between 26 and 29 degrees of Leo and Capricorn, you're affected by these energies. And this transformation can involve career, something you master, a child, a creative endeavor, or a romantic partner. These energies are petty, whining, uh, groveling, complaining, risky, superficial, dwelling on their uh, misfortunes, and they can also be unpredictable. So people can embody any of those energies. 
One can also be persuasive and able to seduce another. Money can be acquired through a partnership as well. Moving along to 3.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury and Scorpio at 20 degrees will be making a faded yet karmic aspect to Jupiter and Gemini while making that same angle to Chiron and Aries. This will go on for the rest of Saturday and part of Sunday. Communication comes in. Luck, uh, the healing of one's image, and the possibility of expansion is possible. Um, there has been a unique challenge or circumstance here where you have placements in your chart between 17 and 23 degrees. Sorry about that. I didn't know I was going to do that. Between 17 and 23 degrees of Aries, Gemini, and Scorpio, you're affected by these energies. These energies can be tenacious, passionate, determined, nimble, mentally quick, adventurous, anxious, and even superficial. Trials experienced through life have shaped, has shaped someone into a powerful and persevering person. For others, loneliness, exile, or poverty can be overturned. Recognition, money can be had thanks to the support of uh, influential or loyal friends. It looks good, but just assess things before taking action toward an opportunity. Okay. By 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun shifts to 4 degrees Scorpio for 24 hours. Where you have placements in your chart between 1 and 7 degrees of any sign, you're affected by these energies. And this can involve your passions, uh, passion projects, sex, shared finances, endings, and or new beginnings. But the energies are extreme. They can be reckless, destructive, and ill-prepared. Don't allow anyone to use you as an instrument to hurt someone else, okay? If projects, I mean, some of you might not know that they're doing that, you know, but um, if projects are not prepared, one can see setbacks. Those who square this angle should be aware of accidents, like don't leave the stove on or any candles burning or anything like that. Share finances, uh, your passions, sex endings, and new beginnings, like I said, can be a focus. Cancer and Pisces placements within that one to seven degrees, they're going to receive the blessings that can benefit home and family. Um, so wherever you have Cancer or Pisces in your chart between one and seven degrees, that's where you're um, having the blessing come in. Virgo and Capricorn placements in your chart between one and seven degrees is where assistance or opportunities are granted or received. And that can involve work, your health, your daily routines, where you are of service to other people as well. Now, Leo and Aquarius placements see the tension. So effort is needed in those areas of your chart. Okay, as it pertains to those energies I talked about, you could see setbacks. So be careful with like friends and lovers, uh, children, creative endeavors. Be careful in social environments. You don't want to get into an accident or anything like that. Okay. Um, Taurus placements with those degrees of uh, between one and seven, they oppose the sun. So they're directly highlighted by that energy. So, you know, watch out for setbacks, things like that, accidents. Um, everything I talked about and, and remember I do put this astrology up in the morning in print so that you can see it okay um, just in case you want to keep track of these um, angles and degrees Gemini and Aries placements make a faded yet karmic aspect to the Sun and Scorpio therefore placements within those areas or degrees are dealing with a unique challenge it affects your image as well as it pertains to your networks of people um, or affects your image as it pertains to your networks of people, neighbors, and even siblings. Sagittarius and Libra placements have to go for or initiate the assistance or opportunities. This pertains to partnerships, relationships, education, skills, long distance travel, um, and what you think and preach. By... 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun in Scorpio will be sextiling the moon in Virgo at 4 degrees. This illuminates an opportunity or assistance um, being granted or received where one has placements in the areas of Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and or Cancer between 1 and 7 degrees. And these energies are brave yet extreme 
disciplined, helpful. They can be reckless, intelligent, noble, destructive, and at the same time, ill-prepared. One can feel a sense of duty, excitement, attractiveness, popularity, or even charm um, under these energies. Don't allow anyone to use you uh, or use you to hurt someone else, okay? Also, if passion projects are not prepared, you can see setbacks. So be prepared, plan strategically, and work. Um, if you've been putting something off, get to it. Success and or recognition after struggle can take place um, within that hour and 45 minutes starting at 745. Thank you for sticking around for the daily astrological update. And I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to read and review the cipher. Bye now.